This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar illustrating lighting techniques in Apple Motion 5.5. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short video tutorial, I'll illustrate the effect of changing light settings in Apple Motion. Before I go on, there's a question about lighting that came up in the question session that I want to talk about now, which is what's the difference between angle and direction and softness? So let's add a light and see what we can do with it. So we'll go to Object, Light, and by default, the light that we're adding is a point light. Point light has position, but doesn't have direction. A direction light has direction, but no position. I can illustrate these terms best with a spotlight. With a spotlight, the direction of a light is the angle in which it is shining. And here I'm adjusting it to spin on the y-axis so you can see the elliptical nature of the light. We can also spin it on the x-axis to go up or down. So that's direction, the angle the light is pointing. The angle of a light, and we'll just pull it over here, the angle of a light is how narrow or how wide it is. It can be 90 degrees wide. The default is 45 down to something very, very elliptical. So the direction, the direction is the angle of light points. The angle is how wide it is. Now let's go back to here and let's make it, let's pull it back in Z space to make it a little bit bigger. Which gets me to softness. Notice where it says soft edge. As you increase this, the blurriness of the edge increases. As you decrease it, the blurriness of the edge gets very sharp. This allows you to have a very tight light with no blurriness or a very blurry light. As I rotate this again, and this time we'll keep some of the blurriness, and we'll pull it off to the side. We'll decrease the cone, and notice fall off. Fall off, as I increase the fall off, the light is brightest near the light and gradually decreases the farther the object that we're shining on gets from the light. And fall off start determines how far away that fall off starts. Here, for instance, the fall off starts right at the light itself. As I increase this, the fall off moves farther from the light so that this becomes brighter before the fall off starts itself. So this allows you to adjust how far the brightest portion of the light is from the light, which is something we can't do in real life. In real life, the brightest part of the light is right next to the light. Here we can adjust where the bright, brightest part is and then have the fall off occur after it. So direction is where the light points, angle is the width of the light, the soft edge is the softness of the edge, and fall off is watching the light diminish as it gets farther from the light. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar illustrating lighting techniques in Apple Motion. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 306. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.